Love and joy is all around us. We need only to see the beauty of God's grace all around us in the awesomeness of his handiwork. God's handiwork was seen when Jesus was lifted up. The researchers say that a hummingbird cannot smell, but along with flying faster than any other bird, they can fly backward and they can hover. And of course they see, so when hanging the red feeder up, they are drawn to the color and seeing the image of flowers, they instinctively check for the sap which when tasted, they see that it is good and remember the location and come back every year for the nutritious sap. When I think of the love of God expressed toward us when he gave his only beloved son, Jesus, and the joy I received when I heard drew closer as I learned more and more about him, I better understood the song, Amazing Grace. It was the love and joy of that whole experience that ultimately changed my life. Praise God. And so, you think about it, in the Bible, we have two figures that I can think of, two characters, Moses and Nicodemus. Exodus 3 lets us know that Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horab, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight why the bush does not burn up. Some scientists believe that there was a phosphorus, phosphorus experience going on with the bush, that the bush may have been smoldering, producing um, smoke, but it wasn't burning up. Nevertheless, Moses drew closer and would come to experience God. He would come to know and learn all about God, who God is, and the commission that God had for him, the purpose that God had for Moses. And it all started with him being intrigued by something so amazing. Well, in the book of John, the Gospel of John, chapter 3, we find that Nicodemus, a uh, Pharisee, right, and a member of the Jewish ruling council, also saw something that was so intriguing. He saw Jesus. And he comes to Jesus by night. He says that um, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you are doing if God were not with him. Just like Moses seeing something out of the ordinary, the religious leaders in Jesus' day saw something that was out of the ordinary. Surely they saw people or heard from people who claimed to know God or claimed to be from God, but Jesus was different. They saw something in him just like with the bush. Something was different. Just like Moses, he had led those sheep. He, he was familiar with the wilderness, but he saw something different something that was totally different and both men drew closer Moses drew closer in the wilderness to see this bush and Nicodemus drew closer to Jesus by night and so what we find is just as Moses was drawn to the burning bush that was burning but not consumed so was Nicodemus drawn to Jesus who was ridiculed by the religious leaders, but not overwhelmed or guilty as charged. Just as the soldier who stood at the cross, when the Roman officer who stood facing Jesus saw how he had died. In Mark 15, 39, he claimed that this man truly was the Son of God. 
We stand drawn to the lifted Savior only to realize He is truly the Son of God. Therefore, our lives are transformed as we are drawn to Jesus and follow Him, learning more and more about who He is and what He did for us. I encourage you to draw closer to Jesus if you don't know Him. And if you do know Him, let's encourage others to draw closer by lifting Him up. That is to esteem Him higher than anyone we know. May God bless you. Amen.